Welcome to Ask Credit Coach. On this week's episode, I have my good friend, Mario Jimenez, also known as the Tax Coach. And we're going to be talking about, we understand, two very boring subjects. Very boring. Taxes and credit, but it's our job to make them sexy, yes. right? We're going to be bringing sexy back. Bringing sexy yeah. back. All right. The first question is, if I do multi-level marketing, does that count as a business? Actually, yes, it does. Uh, in 1999, the IRS put favorable rules uh, for people that were taking level uh, marketing serious. And so it's like a home-based uh, home based business and it counts as a small business. But if you take it serious, then uh, yes, it counts as a, as a business. What does that mean if you take it serious? Meaning you're in the business to make money. I mean, I know, of course, if you go into business to make money, then I mean, if you go into business to make money, obviously, but IRS has a rule that if you don't make uh, money in the three years out of five, then it's considered it uh, a hobby. Oh, wow. So I didn't know that. that. Yeah. So if you don't make any money in three uh, from three out of five years, then IRS considers it an expensive hobby. In other words. Oh, wow. So then every, all your deductions don't count anymore because it's a hobby you're doing. But so that happens if you get audited, right? Well, yeah, because you're going to see um, a loss. You know, 2015, for example, a loss in 2016 and a loss in 2017, they're gonna be like, what are you doing? Mm. We can't give you the deduction because we're not making money. That's an expensive problem. That's interesting. So that's why I say you're taking it serious. The second question is, can I take any tax deductions if I have a home-based business? Yes, you can. We could count, uh, if there's a special area in your house where you're using just for office, then we could take uh, the square feet of that office or of that room you're using and put that as a tax deduction in your taxes. What that means is that room literally has to be separate from any room. Like it can't have a TV and it can't have a bed because then it's co mingling. Okay. So it, it strictly has to be an office for you. Mm -hmm. Then we could take the deduction oh, wow. from your house. Yeah. Good, good, uh, good questions. Um, you know, tax is something that's extremely important for my multi-level marketing friends. I hope that information was valuable. And for any entrepreneurs that do work from home, I hope that information was valuable yes. to you as well. Now, you have some credit questions for me, right? Yes, I have two okay, very great, great uh, credit questions. First one is, is a voluntary repo the same as an involuntary repo? Great question. Yes. The answer is yes, but here's the difference. An involuntary repo is when you just stop making the payments, you neglected to turn the car in, uh, or the repo man was like you woke you up at two three in the morning, took your car, root away. Yeah, without you wake up one day, your car is gone. You car, you can't believe it's happening. Your laptop inside, everything. Right, you make the mistake. A voluntary repo is when you return the car yourself back to the dealership. Now, the difference is that because you return the car yourself, that lender might be more willing to work with you in regards to maybe paying off the debt at a much lesser amount because. Honestly, you weren't able to make the payments and they're able to get rid of the car quicker versus you not making payments and having to stall those 90 days. Second question is, will making more than one payment to my credit card help improve my credit score? Great question. The answer is yes, but here's the reason why. If you have a lot of debt on a credit card and you're, you're almost maxed out or you're above right. that 35%, right. the more payments you send in, the lower your balance will be. So whenever that amount gets reported back to the credit agency, it'll be a lesser amount, which the overall percentage will be less. Now, the payments itself, you sending two, three payments uh, a month per credit card does not help your score because they only record one single payment. But what matters the most is the percentage of your balance to your credit available. It's lower. That's how it helps. Yeah, that's great information. Thank you very much for watching. Again, this is Mario Jimenez with CK Services. Tax coach, Rolando Castro, credit coach with Credit Repair Solutions. And we both, I mean, both of us hope that the information shared, yeah. even though it's boring and it's not sexy, yeah. we hope that it was valuable to you and your future. If you have any tax questions, how can you reach you? Uh, they can reach me at MarioIHaveTaxQuestions.com or they can look me up at Facebook on Mario Jimenez, uh, hashtag Facebook. I mean, hashtag tax coach, I'm sorry. Hashtag tax coach. Yeah. This is Rolando Castro, your credit coach. And if you have any credit questions, email me at info at I have a credit See you next week. Have a good day.